Okay, this is a tutorial on uh, importing rhythms into the wavetables in Serum and making some interesting sounds with them. So I'm going to just take a um, go to the wavetable editor and type in C0 here, enter, and then I'm going to drag a, a rhythm in from from my sample library okay and now I'm going to set up um, LFO1 to scan through the wavetable position so it will play the, the rhythm in forward order and uh, I have a, a clip running C3 through Serum so I'm going to play that Okay, and then you want to adjust the uh, the rate of LFO one so that it matches uh, the speed of the rhythm you want. Maybe adjust the octave here and see which octave works best to bring out the original sound of the loop. The original loop sounded like this. Okay, and I'm going to FM modulate this from the sub. And I'm going to turn on the filter and put a comb filter in here and raise the resonance and for the cutoff I'm going to modulate that with LFO2. set up some segments here in LFO2 to modulate this more rhythmically. And slow that down. change this to a uh, comb filter with uh, with one of these on it Now I'm going to turn on oscillator B, go to the wavetable editor and drag a different drum rhythm in. And also modulate wavetable position with LFO1. And I'm going to get FM from A here. So 
send that through the filter as well. Bring up some drive here. I'm going to add a compressor here, put it in multi-band mode. And now I'm going to set up some ma macros here. I'll set this one up uh, to go to the wavetable positions of oscillator A and B. Call this one fill. Because when you turn it up, you're going to glitch it out and get sort of a fill kind of sound. Send uh, macro one to to the filter modulation on oscillator A, and macro two to the uh, filter modulation and uh, I mean that frequency modulation in oscillator B. Call this uh, F. FM A, FM B, Send uh, macro three to the filter cutoff. I'll limit the range on this a bit, so let me see, at the top I want it to, to be here, and at the bottom I want it to be, uh, so let's start with the bottom here. Yeah, that sounded pretty cool. So now all I have to do is, uh, you know, I can save this and um, bring it up anytime I want, and open these up and just drop different drum rhythms in them. Try a different style here. Let's see.
Yep, so you can play around with all those options and come up with some cool stuff. That's it for this tutorial. Take care.